Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the Dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Today I added a link to a program called Pi in the description. It is an application you can install on your cell phone that will earn you Pi tokens as you simply go about your day. The Pi application is in phase 2 of 3 phases and the Pi tokens could very well be worth its weight in gold one day. You can find the links to these and other valuable sites in the description below. First article of interest for today, Economist, Iraq will not be able to approve an investment budget for the current year. Between the economic expert Wissam al Tamimi on Sunday, that Iraq will not be able to approve an investment budget for the current year pointing out that the decline in oil prices had a negative impact on the budget. Al-Tamimi said in a statement to information that two-thirds of the budget goes to salaries, the operating budget, at a time that has witnessed in between, it is better for the government to continue with an operational budget only, with postponement of new job grades until next year by temporarily freezing their work and not separation the job is until oil prices recover and prepare an integrated plan to secure salaries and find alternatives to supplement the budget away from oil. Iraq launch of thousands of job grades without any account or advance plan to secure their salaries. He added that the coming period will put the government in front of difficult options as you must find a plan to secure the salaries of employees, especially the new ones, and therefore it will resort to not approving any investment budget for the current year if it decides to vote on the budget. Next article of interest. Al-Amiri, Iraq will face the most difficult fiscal year since 2003. On Sunday, energy consultant Fala Al-Amiri warned that Iraq would face the most difficult fiscal year since 2003 calling on the government to prepare an emergency budget and take quick steps to remedy the crisis. Al-Amiri said in statements followed by information that the share of Iraq in reducing oil after the OPEC meeting by 1.061 million barrels per day is surprising, indicating that the size of the global reserve and storage is very large and that what has been reduced represents 23%. He added that, if Iraq fully applies this agreement, it will cause problems, because it has contracts and obligations with international companies, stressing, the importance of the Ministry of Oil understanding with companies to reduce 30% of production costs. He pointed out that, the previous financial budget calculated $56 per barrel of oil, with a large deficit, and that despite expectations of an increase in the price of oil during the coming period to $40 to $45, it will be the most difficult fiscal year that passes since Iraq in 2003, calling on the government to prepare an emergency budget and take quick steps to remedy the crisis. Next article of interest. Proposals to boost budgetary resources, including a 10% salary cut. The Finance Committee in the House of Representatives is moving with the government to increase the state's financial revenues by enhancing budget entrances and reducing the salaries of special grades with the involvement of the anti-terrorist agency in working in border ports to eliminate corruption and maximize financial resources. The Parliamentary Committee is preparing to formulate several proposals to take it into consideration when amending the budget law, and to reconsider the draft law in light of these variables. A committee member, Jamal Cougar, said, the committee held a session in the middle of last week via the internet attended by members and some economic experts, as mechanisms for maximizing budget entry were discussed, stressing that, there is a need for this to exist in the law that there are ministries for which funds have been allocated in their normal position and now they are in a state of alert such as health and trade, and therefore the budget must be restructured in line with the current health economic and service situation. He added, the Prime Minister designate, if he is able to present the cabinet booth within two weeks and voted on by the Council of Ministers when he can form a group of experts to review the budget, will accelerate its dispatch to Parliament, which in turn will put it to a vote without, he continued, 
the committee made some proposals in drafting the budget in the event of an agreement to reduce oil, especially since the recent epidemic will not benefit Iraq a lot because it will not raise prices high, which makes us have narrow options. And, he pointed out, the government has two options, either to reduce all salaries by 10 to 15 percent, or to focus on the fourth or fifth piece, and the rest remains if the current situation continues. That is, there is a formula for pressure on the higher grades so that the lower grades are not affected. Concerning the border outlets, he pointed out, the existence of a proposal to involve the counterterrorism apparatus in these border crossing works, and that the latter provides the budget with only $17 of the resource, and that the balance equates to only $17 of the resource. Next article of interest. Deputy Becerin sets priorities for the al qazemi government. A concise government program must be presented. A deputy from the Saran Alliance presented, on Sunday, setting priorities for Mustafa al qazemis government, stressing the need to present a concise government program. Jawad Hamdan, a representative of the coalition, said that one of the priorities in providing the ministerial cabinet is, as well as the priorities required by the current stage, and the prime minister designate must put it among his rapid plans in forming the government, including the provision of a concise government program that is commensurate with the size of the important needs of the health, educational and educational state in addition to a very important law, which is the budget law. He added, the Prime Minister should present succinct and effective programs at this stage, especially since the budget law is awaiting its dispatch to the House of Representatives, and spending priorities should be determined through the budget doors. Above all, the support of the educational institution and the health institution, which is the most important in countries and the most dangerous in terms of contact with the lives of citizens. Hamden pointed out that the Prime Minister designate to provide various programs for previous government's programs and beyond the typical support way. So we need a radical change in the way of dealing with the situation in Iraq and to move away from what made by previous government's long programs not suitable for the management stage, stressing the necessity of being among the priorities to curb the heads of corruption and to disclose the fate of the reports of the committees that revealed corruption and investigate suspicions of corruption and control it, otherwise it is of interest to all laws and left on the shelves and the heads of corruption free loose. He continued. The taxpayer must present a financial plan accompanying the budget through the way of dispersing funds and classifying them in a logical manner, as well as alternatives and reserves from international circumstances, especially that Iraq relies on oil rents. So we must see in the government program parallel alternatives to support the budget and revitalize the economy. And activating the private and public sectors. Hamden called for political blocs to have a high degree of responsibility and approval of all laws that are still contained in integrity and controversial laws shelves the council, examples of housing laws, and work on the distribution of land parcels between citizens and the appropriate oil and gas, and providing services, advanced investment, the federal court and the laws that support the military and state security agencies. Next article of interest. A role for the IMF. Let's take stock. Uncertainty as to the course of technology and its impact on the financial sector, risks to the international payment system, of fragmentation and instability, risks of dollarization, dangers of weak institutions and policy frameworks. Each calls the IMF into action. The best defense against loss of monetary autonomy of excessive dollarization instigated by foreign ammony, is good policy. IMF surveillance can help. And requests for technical assistance in this area are already on the rise, in number and urgency. We must be ready to answer these calls. Clearly the IMF can also help with its analytical capacity, to identify disruption, fathom future scenarios and evaluate how policy choices can favor the more attractive ones. And the IMF's convening power may be needed more than ever, to bolster the international payment system. But this time, also with new technologies. For instance, the risks and drawbacks to cross-border payments, which we discussed earlier, 
could be surmounted by greater coordination between countries. What if central banks, which may help PMOD providers develop on domestic markets, also favored their expansion into cross-border payments? What if they settle transactions by exchanging reserves among each other? Of course, only after further analysis of the benefits and risks, including credit risk, of such bold operations. Could an international institution such as the IMF facilitate these operations by running a common platform, mutualizing credit risks, or at least establishing guidance and regulation? Or could new money be created? with one-to-one -one backing by a basket of fiat currencies, to settle transactions between central banks. Some have called this the ESDR or DSDR. Clearly, this is still hypothetical. But given the speed at which we're traveling, we must at least map out the terrain that lies ahead before booking a path. Wherever we go, the M4, monetary, in IMF is bound to get a new Polish as we focus on the new monetary challenges to the international monetary system. The years to come will be especially exciting for the global financial architecture. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more videos are posted and get your copy of the pie at below to start earning crypto. Be sure to check out the Denarian blog. Facebook and Twitter as I also update daily on those platforms as well. The links are in the description below. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for a limited time. The links to these and other invaluable websites are available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.